everyone's got a different opinion about Schwalmer. Is it better than where the aircraft? We can't say. This is it. Turkey by Turkey. Today, Jerusalem's best loved food commentator and social media critic Shimshon Lashinsky has convened a group meetup with the goal of testing out three of Jerusalem's best shawarma restaurants. The goal? To find number one. And we found out there's all sorts of interesting spices. We've got some people are putting cinnamon in it as well, cardamom, turmeric, there's a lot of things going in there. And Israel is unique that they do with turkey. The other ones are using other meats principally a lamb or beef because of kosher reasons they don't put yogurt on the, on the meat here that although they do that in Turkey and Greece but here we're taking you now to a very special place we're taking you to Turkish places that do imitation yogurt made from uh, possibly almond milk we'll find out from them now you should know these it's a cold nasty rainy day it, we're just before a lot of snowstorms so out of I advertised it on all the groups out of the thousand people who liked it, thousands who liked it and commented, only three showed up. The Shawarma Heroes, give them a round. Woo! These guys, Shawarma. the Shawarma Heroes, they did it. They came, despite the rain, despite the hail, despite the cold weather. They're going to be tasting, they're going to be involved in everything. Okay, shall we do it? Let's go for it. Turkey Adventure in Jerusalem, take one. some Swedish children's uh, story which a lot of people grew up on and somehow they combine that it's a goose flying in the air and they combine that with uh, lamb shawarma from Turkey they've got the blue con it looks like you in Turkey or in Greece it looks it's got an interesting image here but um, you'll see it sounds strange but it works I've eaten it a few times delicious but of course the main problem with, with shawarma places it's not always the same thing one time it's excellent and one time it's really bad. So let's hope today will be excellent. This is it, Akka. It's basically veal with some lamb in it. Um, he's not telling us how much lamb. My guess it's the lamb fat on top, really. It's mainly veal. What's interesting is they have pistachios inside, and they always wipe the, the lafa with the fat to make it more juicy. Put in the first thing. Is that almonds? Yes, yeah, so we should get it. Okay. This is made, this is uh, almond dip. Very good. Fresh. It's interesting to have meat with uh, yogurt. Which is something I usually don't do. Because... The y yogurt definitely adds a bit of flavor and color. Maybe a little bit more mint leaves would have been good. But we're going to other places that do that. We've got the onions, we've got everything fresh, full of flavor. My name is Max, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, when I saw, I love food, uh, I love shawarma. Uh, when I saw Shimshon was doing a shawarma tour, I said I had to join. Uh, so far we've been to Akka, um, I liked it. The meat was not exactly to my tasting, it tasted more like uh, hamburger meat than, than shawarma meat. But so far so good and I'm excited to taste the, the rest of the shawarmas. Here with Yossi. Now Yossi changed Jerusalem 
about a year ago, he started the Turkish shawarma. And explain the concept. The idea comes from traveling a lot. I come from the food industry. I've been working in the food industry for 30 years. Street food is uh, the most, probably most accessible element of culture. We were looking to do something uh, during the corona. We opened in August between between, within the middle of the corona, and we're looking to do something uh, accessible, unique. I've got to ask you the million dollar question, then we're going to move on because we've got two more stops. If I wanted to have a, a shawarma which is only lamb, only lamb, how much would it cost me? Would it, would it be 100 shekels for that? It most probably would cost, uh, I would say, at least 50% more than what we're selling it. So 75 shekels? Around 75 shekels. 100%. I want it like I had in Australia, 100% lamb shawarma. It's too expensive for the public, it's, is that what you say? It's, it's too expensive for the public. It would be a niche in Israel. If you open strictly lamb, there will be a very small amount of people that will actually go for strictly. The, it's never been more exciting to eat shawarma in Jerusalem. That is true. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Next up on the tour was Turkey Shuk. Opened somewhat more recently. Lishinsky recently gave it a strong review, but what would the other participants make of its food? And here we are, it's called Turkey Shuk. It's a new place, maybe about a month or two around. Door is going to tell us about this place. Everyone's a big Turkey swimmer now. Why are you better? Okay, so their main thing is Trina, so they're making it more Israeli to the Israeli taste. The other guy, he was doing it more to the Turkish taste. We'll have to decide what's better. He's letting us have a bit of both. So we all know what's going on really. It's more veal and less lamb. <laughs> the market will be the second one. Right. It can be the second one. This uh, food group is now completely out of control. We discovered here they added tahina to it. It makes it a whole different ball game. It takes it away from Turkey and more to Israel, but it still was more familiar and delicious for us. The second thing was here they have more of the, the lamb meat. It's, although it's very fatty, it was 50% lamb meat. So I've got to say in some ways they give you a good fight here for your money. They give you more action. Here it costed 48 shekels for a serving. There it's 45. So let's go to the third place and see how this is uh, working out. We're doing our best here with the cold, the rain, we're, we're doing everything to get the, the news to you as it happens in Jerusalem. Everyone's got a different quality than me. But I'm reading on the internet a lot of, uh, a lot of reviews. The same place, one day it's good and one day it's really lousy. So it changes depending what meat they have that day, what service they have, you know. But where we go, it's run by Avi Levy. Everyone knows about him, he's a master chef. He won the tele Israeli television show, Master Chef. He's got a real Turkish guy working there. So, and he's got it turning around on a rotisserie. So we're gonna feel like we're in Istanbul. Let's go there. What is this group? What, who are we? We're just very simple, Shimshan TV. That's what we are. <laughs> With bellies getting full and a Jerusalem winter snowstorm moving in on the city, it was time for the tour to move on to the third and final stop on the shawarma tour, Mitzle. You go in or just give up? What do you think? We've eaten so much already. Give up or go in? You decide. Go in or go give up? You decide. It's a very big question. We've eaten so much, we can't move.
quick summary of the, this place. Um, I found it very exciting, the meat was delicious. I couldn't really taste much lamb there. The servings here are a little bit smaller than other places, but the ambience, the vibe is fantastic. All the different salads and extras are interesting. So definitely a, a, a place highly recommended. I, I like all of them. They're all good, very good. Uh, the first one is nice, the second one and the third one, they're all great warm up. That's what I need. Uh, my favorite was the second place, uh, Turkey Shook. Uh, and I really like it here, I like the, like the ambiance and um, the atmosphere. Sean here and the other guy, Avi, they're doing a wonderful job. We love them. Well, well, well. Yay! Go right around and see all the people traffic. It's amazing. We love you guys. Well, we love you too.